The purpose of this presentation is to give a little bit advice on how to carry out, to do question one, the fraction mechanics problem in the assignment that I handed out to you. Now let's read through the problem statement. An infinite center crack panel is subjected to the uniform gross tensile stresses shown in the given block of load history shown in table 1. Here are table 1, so we see the stresses are there, and these are nominal stresses, so it's um, uh, 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 far away, so it's from minus 280 to 280. You can see that this represents a range of 560, but for crack propagation we only look at the positive parts, of course. Um, a positive part of K of the stress intensity factor. Then uh, the next one is from minus 70 to 140, and there we have 30 cycles, and minus 70 to 70, and there we have 30 cycles. Now, normally when we do fraction mechanics, we solve the time signal um, uh, in a sequence, as it's, um, it's, as it's uh, been recorded or as it's been played or, how, or what, calculated or whatever. Now, let's see what they say. The panel contains, contains an initial through thickness crack of length 2A equal to 1 millimeter. Now, note this is an infinite center crack panel. Um, and the center crack of 2A, 1 millimeter, initial crack size. And is made of a material having the following properties. There we have the plane strain fracture toughness of 50 MPa squared meter. The, in the Paris equation, uh, we know DADN is equal to C delta K times uh, to the power M, to the exponent M. Right, and there we have the, both the, co the crack growth coefficient C and the crack growth exponent M. Now, what is asked? Please do the following. Predict the life of the panel in loading blocks. Now note, loading blocks, so that means how many times can I repeat this block, this stress history uh, uh, block in table 1. Using linear elastic fraction mechanics, hint, assume that the crack growth per block is small in comparison to the overall crack length and that failure is due to fracture and not plastic collapse. Now the first statement there means I only need to calculate the, the, the growth in the crack uh, delta A, when I play these signals through, that means that 280 or, or that uh, uh, stress state, that stress state, that stress state, and for these number of cycles, and then that's the delta A that I can uh, uh, add to the previous size. Now, to what would be the predicted life? That's blocks to failure. How many times these blocks can be played? If only damage caused by the overload cycles were considered, that means neglecting the damage caused by the smaller cycles. So what the question here is, um, remember we are going to use 280 MPa to calculate the crack size um, where fracture will occur. That means where the stress intensity factor becomes equal to K1C. Um, and now in this case they say, now... What, what would be the predicted life if we ignore 140 and 70 MPa and only look at that 280? Um, uh, 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 that's neglecting the damage caused by the smaller cycles. We could also say 70 is smaller and neglect that. So that's the objective here. And how do these life predictions compare? So these are the questions. I'm going to save this. And the next video that follows on this one, we will discuss the solution.